Hello everyone, today I'm doing a comparison between MHL and Slimport. They're both uh, display adapters uh, for phones. So here in my hand is the MHL adapter, which is uh, for Samsung devices. Uh, and then here is the Slimport adapter, which works uh, for the Nexus line of devices. So today I have here a Nexus 5 and a Galaxy S4. So the MHL adapter here isn't actually a standard micro USB port. It won't actually fit into the Nexus 5. So let's have a look at what happens when I plug it in. So let's start with the Galaxy S4. So let's put this in. Okay, it's in and I will plug the other end into a HDMI cable that I prepared earlier. Okay, it's plugged in. Let's give it a few seconds. Okay, it's actually showing on the TV already. You see that? I'll try and get both on the screen. And you'll notice that there is a slight lag to the input. So if I open the uh, settings, do some scrolling, you can see that there's a notice noticeable display uh, display lag. There's a lag between when I swipe on the screen and when it actually shows on the TV. And yes, it will do landscape. So let's now let's have a look at the slim port on the Nexus 5. Let's unplug this. Put the slim port into the Nexus 5. Okay, that's in the phone. Put this end into the HDMI cable. Okay, now let's bring this up. Okay, there we go. We have the Nexus 5 connected to the TV. And you see that there is actually less of a delay between the Nexus 5 and the TV. So you could, you could argue that Slimport is slightly faster than MHL. Now I'm not sure if, if that's a case of um, a different phone, but you can definitely see that the Nexus 5 or the Slimport adapter or the Slimport display standard gives you a faster response time on the TV. Now both these adapters give you the option of charging so you can actually plug in your phone charger into this port here or into this port here for MHL and it will charge your phone while you're showing images or movies on the TV. Anyway, thanks for watching.